In the past, I made a video detailing how I designed and built a prosthetic arm. Um, I uploaded this video maybe one or two years ago and just sort of went through my university project, my thesis on it, and how I got started and modeled it and built it. Uh, quite a few people have asked me for the files and I was a bit hesitant at first to share them because they're not of a professional standard. They were designed by me when I was an undergraduate student, so there are some issues um, with them. But I thought purely from an educational standpoint, they're kind of worth sharing with um, a lot of people asking. So this is the model. Um, so I've shared the files on Google Drive. So if you go to this original video or also the description below of this video, I'll share uh, the SolidWorks models here. So you just click this Google Drive link and that will bring you to this folder. So in there will be uh, these models. So just open the full assembly exploded model. Um, to get it out of the exploded view, go over to the left here and go to configuration manager, uh, collapse the views if necessary and right click expanded view one and hit collapse. So that will bring it into this state. And then from there, depending on your skill in SOLIDWORKS, you can um, manipulate the file however necessary. So I just hide some components. So one question I did get asked quite a bit was what pins did I use in here? So I think at the time I just used three millimeter 3D printer filament cut to size. Um, and then I had braided fishing line uh, that would act as the tendons, run through here and just change that transparency and run through this wrist joint and wrap around these locks here. Uh, but yeah, th this thing wasn't very strong, so just keep in mind when you're printing or modeling it that there are improvements that can be made. So that's about it. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel and comment for things you would like modeled in SOLIDWORKS and I'll do my best to explain it. All right, cheers.